I got to smell all of, wow. I got the whip. Oh, this makes me so happy. Yes. Oh my gosh. Grown up, sexy, mature sense, not, you know, you ain't even a kid. I just want to spray all of these all over me. Imagine me spraying every single one of these on. I might be arrested. I might arrest myself. What up, it's your girl, Minna. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you my top 10 fragrances that I cannot wait to wear this fall. Because let's just be honest, it's still hot in Houston, but I'm looking forward to switching up the fragrances that I'm reaching for because it's fall anyway, and I just wanna change it up a little bit, you know? This is not to say that I have not worn a few of these over the summer, but it is to say that I'm excited about them because they are more cold weather, warm it up type fragrances. So if you are interested, keep on watching, give the video a thumbs up, follow on Instagram and on TikTok and Pinterest, because when I'm not here, I am there. I post three times a week, so make sure you are subscribed. First is Replica Jazz Club. Listen, this is one of those fragrances that I almost Almost did not get. I had to smell several times in the store in order to be convinced because part of me liked it. Part of me was like, what in the world? It was, it had to grow on me. And if you have this scent or have smelled it, then you know exactly what I'm referring to. I'm going to spray it on these testers because we professional around here in these streets or whatever. So this is a 3.4 ounce. I love it. I had to get the big bottle because it's just that good. And my studio is going to be smelling real good with all these different fragrances being sprayed, ma'am. Oh my God. It smells like bourbon. Let's, let's look at the notes, okay? First of all, the 3.4 ounce is $144. It is an eau de toilette. Usually an eau de toilette has a lower amount of oil. So it's known not to last as long as an eau de parfum. You may be familiar with eau, eau de, or extraits. Is it eau de extrait? <laughs> I'm annoyed, extrait, you know? And then of course you have oil. Perfume oil is extremely concentrated, gonna last you forever, which I love too. Perfume oils are really, really great. But I haven't had a problem with this lasting long. It is such a strong pronouncing itself before you walk in kind of scent that I don't I don't recall from last year me wearing this and feeling like I couldn't smell it after a while. I mean, this is like strong, okay? It's a warm and spicy scent. You know, normally I like the warm and sweet gourmand. This is warm and spicy. It is unisex. So the scent type is woody spices and it's got pink pepper. Yes, okay, because I have another fragrance in here that has pink pepper in it and I never realized that that was the the link between these two but it makes sense I love pink pepper now that I've smelled in a few things so it has pink pepper rum absolute and tobacco leaf absolute again giving you alcohol giving you strong man giving you share this with your husband or your boyfriend or your father or your brother and put it in the common area and then you pick it up every now and then and spray it on yourself too this is sexy this is masculine but i love it for myself and i get why it's unisex this is not a safe blind buy. You've got to smell this. Like I said, I had to smell this several times in order to want it. I almost felt like I would feel uncomfortable wearing it because of the way it is so strong and pronounced. But it's one of those fragrances that you just have to rock it. You have to embody the boldness of it. I hope I'm not discouraging you. I just want to be clear. So I look forward to wearing Replica Jazz Club this fall because it is that good. So this second one, I also had to smell several times before I was sold because I also was like, this is very, uh, masculine. This is when I was first getting into fragrances, well, a year and a half ago. Yep, during COVID is when I began my fragrance journey. But honey, it is so good. Because I was on the fence about it, I got the small bottle, but I can definitely see myself getting a larger bottle should I run out of this. This is a one fluid ounce. It is also an eau de toilette. I believe all of the replica fragrances are eau de toilettes. So it's a one fluid ounce, and this size is $76. It's a warm and sweet gourmand. So more my speed. It's warm and spicy. It's got clove oil, chestnut accord, and vanilla accord. So definitely more easy on the nose, you know? Yes. 
Oh my gosh. Oh yes. If just the whiff, if I had to choose between Joe, wow. Oh my God. Uh, I'm going to get a bigger version. Like, wow. If I had to choose between this and jazz club, it's this hands down. It's this hands down. It's the sweetness with the woodiness that just makes me so happy. Wow. This is again, a very bold, sexy scent. It's not it, for someone who's shy. You're not shy when you wear this. You are bold. You can be quiet. You can be delicate, but it's bold. This is unisex. You can again share this in the common area. Rock it yourself. To me, it just screams, who am I? The girls in Chicago. If you want a bold fragrance replica by the fireplace, smoky, sweet, just amazing, delicious, that's the one for you. Okay, now, Miss Fenty killed all of us last year when she gave us this Eau de Parfum. Now, I had received this in PR and I was head over heels when it's when it came out, it was sold out. Then it went away for a long time, came back out some months ago. It is still available for purchase. Yes, so it's no longer so in demand that you can't even get it, but it is available for purchase. It's $140. This is also not a safe blind buy. Blind buy meaning you buy without smelling it. Mm -mm, I wouldn't consider that this because it's also a very strong, bold, might be considered masculine type of scent. Don't feel like, ooh, Wow, yes, it's giving alcohol again, like strong liquor. It's got magnolia. Okay, it's a warm floral. It's a warm floral, wow. I wasn't gonna think about that. I was gonna say more of a woman's suit gourmand. Okay, warm floral, I can see that. Very, very heavy on the warm. It's got magnolia, musk, tangerine, and Bulgarian rose, wow. I can, yes, it's, yes, the musk. Again, you've gotta be into something like this. It's giving sexy, grown-up, mature scent, just like the other two. Grown-up, sexy, mature scents, not, you know, matter of fact, tell the kids they gotta go out. You know what I'm saying? This is very grown and sexy, you feel me? You've gotta be into, again, the scents that are gonna be like, excuse me, wow, who is that? And this is it, honey. So if you have Fenty Eau de Parfum, I wanna know, do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? I also want to know. And if you don't have it, just based on how I described it, does it sound interesting to you? I'm laughing because I personally don't know a lot of people that would enjoy this. I know a handful and that to me is enough. I love this. Just let me know. Just let me know. Oh my God. Another in your face you have to be bold, have to be confident, sexy boss vibes, unisex, ultra smoky, delicious scent <laughs> is Maison Francis Kerjean Oud Satin Mood. My God, this is also a unisex, perhaps genderless type scent. Extremely strong. This is expensive, okay? It's expensive. <laughs> so it better be strong. So this is $3.95 for this size. And here's the fragrance story. So it says that it's an abundance of roses from Turkey and Tunisia around Oh, that round out the oud woods, dark animalistic tones with their sensuality before enveloping the violet bl blossoms in softness. Imagine, it's got violet accord, ger geranium, cinnamon from Ceylon, mm -hmm. Damas Damasina rose essence from Turkey, Centifolia rose absolute from Tunisia. Wow, Tunisia, Tunisia. Natural oud from Laos, amber, vanilla accord. My God, today, this stuff is fantastic, okay? I don't wear this often. I mean, I, I bought it in the summertime. MFK actually invited me to a pop-up at Saks where I went, and then I just loved this and bought it. It was just, I got to smell all of, wow. I got the whip. Oh. This makes me so happy. It just, I just got a whiff and I can't even speak anymore. I'm just, I'm stuck, wow. There's something so sensual and sexy about this. I'm gonna spray some on my bed because I would actually really enjoy this as a scent just around me at night. Just imagine just turning over, sleeping, and you're smelling something so lovely. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I don't, this, there's nothing else I can say. It's definitely an investment product. <laughs> I can see this lasting me probably 10 years. I mean, I thank God have so many fragrances. I don't need to wear this every single day. This is going to last forever. So for the price, it's so worth it. Again, you have to be ready for a bold, sexy scent. I just love this. This is so good. Now this next one is literally for men. <laughs> 
This is so freaking good. First of all, the bottle is so sexy, very Valentino. I love, love, love this so freaking much. This is a warm and sweet gourmand, like a few others that I mentioned. So to me, because of the scent type, male or female or fragrance, I don't care. It's the scent type that I love. I love warm and sweet gourmands and this is it. This is the 3.4 ounce. It is a toilette. It is strong. It lasts. It's delicious. This is affordable too. It's a hundred dollars. Oh my God. I haven't even sprayed it and I just did this with the top off and I can smell it. My God today. L oh my God. I want to put this on right now. This is a favorite of mine. This one. Oh, I didn't say the name. I'm so annoyed. I went right into it. I did not even say the name. Valentino is is U O M O. Is it Woma Womo? Ah. Valentino Womo Coral Fantasy Cologne. Okay, it's a cologne, but I don't care. I don't even know what to say. Oh, notes, duh. It's got red apple, that sweetness from the apple, tobacco, and sage. God. Mmm. Share with your man, your husband, your father, your brother. They're all going to love it. They are all going to love it. And I love it too. It is worth the try. It is so great for fall. I wore this in the summertime too, you feel me? But it's so good for the winter time. It's gonna be so good this fall. It's simply not possible to do this kind of video and not mention Baccarat Rouge. Now the T in Baccarat is silent. It's French, okay, for God's sake. We're doing the best we can out here. All the girlies love Baccarat Rouge 540. I have two of these. I have one in my suitcase and I have this bottle. This is absolutely fantastic. I sprayed this all over me and then we flew to Dubai and it never went away. And Dubai's flight is 14 hours. It's pricey and that's why it's lasting long as it should for this price. You better. So this is an Eau de Parfum and the 3.4 ounce is what? 3.95 as well, I believe. Oh, this is 2.4, excuse me. The other one is also 2.4. So 2.4, oh, this one is 3.25. Mm-hmm, it's a little lower than the Oudsan Mood. It's got jasmine, saffron, cedarwood, and ambergris. Ambergris, the S is silent. Hello, French, ooh. Yes, yes. <laughs> I almost forgot how this smelled. Oh, I almost forgot how this smelled. Oh, there's just something about it. There's something about it. It just makes me so happy. Don't listen to these people out here. Oh, everyone has that. I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? If I'm gonna smell good, I'm gonna smell good. Listen, it's a very mature scent. It's a loud scent. It projects. It's going to give you a great scent bubble, meaning all around you is gonna smell like Baccarat Rouge 540. You feel what I'm saying? It is not a get close and smell me. It's a wow, who just passed by? So comment, let me know if you've smelled this, if you like this, love it, don't like it, let me know. It is a mature scent. You definitely need to smell it first. It is a mature scent. If you like more playful, youthful scents, this is not it. If you like sexy, bold, in your face, pronounced scents, you have to have Baccarat Rouge 540. You just have to, that's just what it is. I literally almost forgot about this fragrance. One of my first and most loved fragrances from Jo Malone. Oh my goodness. This is Jo Malone Velvet Rose and Oud. It is almost done. I've gone through two of these. I have one on the backup. I also have the diffuser in my closet because it is, I have two diffusers actually. That is how much I love this fragrance. Just, just, just hands down. It's reminding me obviously of Oud Satin Mood because it both, they both have Oud in them, but I know why I love this one. Let's get the notes. Okay, so this is the Cologne Intense. So that alone tells you that it's an intense scent. 3.4 ounces, it's $205. It's a warm floral. It's got clove in it, damask, rose, and obviously Oud Wood. Very, very, Beautiful. I love this scent. Every time that I wear this scent, I get complimented on it. This is sexy. This is great. It lasts a very long time. It projects its boss vibes. Gotta be confident. Gotta be bold. Gotta be ready. Doesn't mean you have to be loud. Your fragrance is going to be loud for you. This is so good. Jo Malone Velvet Rose and Oud. You need this. This is great. Now we have a Tom Ford fragrance that I got as a gift when I was flown to LA earlier this year by Tom Ford Beauty. 
blown away. It was fantastic. And I got to pick out a fragrance that I liked. So I chose Rose Prick, although all three of their Rose fragrances were phenomenal. This is the one fluid ounce. It's $240. It's a warm floral. I love all warm scents. This is a warm floral. It's got Rose Demai, Bulgarian Rose, and Szechuan Pepper. So it's definitely spicy. I love it. I wouldn't call any of these safe blind buys. You got to smell them. Very sophisticated. See, and I I wore this on the plane to come home, so I was able to sit with it for hours. And I, every time I got a, a woof of it, I was like, yeah, I get the sweetness of it, but I also get the Szechuan pepper of it that could be off-putting, but it's really sexy. It's different. The way this is blended together, it's different. I don't wear this, I mean, I have so many, so I don't wear this often, I would say, but this is a very sexy evening type scent. You just have to rock this, yo. You have to be bold to wear this. It gives me like, wow, didn't think it would go that direction, but in a way that I like a lot. Definitely on my list for this fall. So another fragrance that I cannot wait to wear this fall. I mean, I've already been wearing it. Like, come on. The bottle is beautiful, okay? It smells phenomenal. Also that spicy pepper. It's literally called Kaali Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. Like, duh. And I just knew from the name. Once I had looked into the notes of Rose Prick and that it had Szechuan pepper in it, I knew I would love this because as I look at the notes of fragrances that I love, I can figure out when I look at something online and when I'm gonna buy it blindly, I'll know, oh yeah, I'm like that because I see the similarities and I just I just know okay so this is the 3.4 fluid ounce and it's $138 it's a warm floral it's got pink pepper Bulgarian rose and sandalwood I love all of those okay this is so so sexy and the bottle is just so beautiful yes and this yeah it reminds me of rose prick duh right and it reminds me of something else what did I tell y'all I told y'all that this smelled like something else that I have. And I'm sitting here and I can't think of what it is, but it smells like something else. It might be Rose de Chine. Yes, Tom Ford Rose de Chine. I believe that's what I said in a different video. Gosh, this is just so freaking good. Listen, all of these have that warm, smoky aspect to them. So my nose is just getting so smoked up. So don't, don't mistake my lack of enthusiasm that matches the others for me not liking this as much. I absolutely love this. It's just, they're all similar in some way. They're all just so freaking good. This is absolutely fantastic. I just want to spray all of these all over me. Imagine me spraying every single one of these on. I might be arrested. I might arrest myself. You know what I'm saying? This is just so good. And last but not least is YSL Lieb. Oh my goodness. This is the one fluid ounce. It is an eau de parfum. This is so freaking good. I took so long to get on the YSL Lieb train. I took so long. Listen, the bottle is so freaking sexy. I have two of these. I got this one because I had picked it up at Sephora at Cold while I was in Dallas for an event and they only had the one fluid ounce. And I love it so much that I went online and purchased the body oil and the bigger version, which is in my bathroom. Not only is the bottle sexy, it smells freaking amazing. It smells grown and sexy. Again, not for children. All of these are giving boss vibes bold. You gotta rock it, just all the things. The one fluid ounce is $85. This is still a warm floral. This has got lavender essence, orange blossom, and orchid accord. Let's spray this. I'm getting tired. <laughs> 10 fragrances? Golly, knock me down, why don't you? Yes, it's warm. It also is given bubble bath by Replica, literally. It's like bubble bath, warm. And I love bubble bath. It's a warm version of bubble bath. I love this. Yeah, and I smelled this at Sephora and Kohl's and I was like, what? I need this. Yeah, there's a freshness to it. It's warm, it's sexy, it's grown up, it's sophisticated. This could be a safe blind buy if you are into these warm, sexy type scents. I would say this is definitely safe, that lavender essence might be what it is. I love this. Listen, I enjoy all of these. I cannot wait to be dousing myself this fall in all of these. And I'm sure I'm gonna use my other ones too because <laughs> why not? But I'm gonna link all these products below for you. Comment, let me know if you've tried any of these, love them, like them, hate them. I wanna know in the comments below. And also Sephora's sale is coming around the block. 
In November, I am gathering my wish list. I want to know what you plan on buying. I want you to tell me what you think I should buy to review. I do want the new Prada. I did a different video with new fragrances that I have. The Prada's not in there. I want to get it though. So watch that video. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.